Okay, so here's our bonus segment, the very beginning of static games of incomplete information. There's not really a game here, uh, but this is just a quick segment about what information is going to look like, uh, how the timing of these games is going to evolve. I know it's a static game, it's a one-shot game, but there still is some timing working in the background. We're going to talk about beliefs, because if there's private information, if there's incomplete information, players are going to have to have some beliefs. And then we're going to talk about Bayesian updating, about how players learn as the game uh, unfolds. Commander McKee is over here, out of the camera field. He's going to help me out. So here's the game. Uh, I can be one of two types of player. I hope this focuses. I can be a generous player, or I can be a stingy player. And we don't know yet which one I am. I'm going to put the paper flat on the table so that we can't really see what I'm doing. And so right now, before I pick a sheet, Commander McKee and I both believe that I'm going to pick a sheet at random. So half the time I'm going to be generous, and half the time I'm going to be stingy. Now I'm going to pick a sheet. Okay. Only I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it off camera. So I know now, I looked at the sheet, whether I'm generous or stingy, but what does Commander McKee believe? I believe with a 50% probability that Professor Yukov is stingy and a 50% probability that she is generous. So Commander McKee's beliefs haven't changed from ex ante, but my knowledge has changed because I got to look at one of these sheets. So the way these games are going to work, this isn't quite a game because there's only one decision, is that a player observes his or her type, in this case, generous or stingy, and then associates an action to uh, each possible type. So my set of actions is going to either be to share the hand sanitizer or not to share the hand sanitizer, based on the type that I've already observed. So I've observed my type, and I'm going to share this. Yeah, I wouldn't want to pass it. That would be a grave sin. All right. So now, ex post, what happens? We're at the end of the game. Ex, ex post means end of the game. What am I? Am I generous or am I stingy? I believe that the generous type is correct. And indeed, I'm the generous type. Bring this up to the camera. I hope it's focused. So even though Commander McKee did not see the paper, did not see my type before my action, he was able to learn what type I was based on my action. And this, this change of beliefs to knowledge is what's called Bayesian updating. And if you've seen Bayes' rule in uh, one of your math classes, SM230, I think, uh, this is what it looks like in practice in game theory. So at the very end of the game, both of us know that I am or I is generous. All right, fun fact, right now, the Federal Trade Commission is enforcing generosity. If you have some sort of end of days pile of hand sanitizer and you're trying to sell it at a zillion dollars a bottle on eBay, they will prosecute you. Somebody is facing prosecution for this and he donated all of his hand sanitizer in the hopes of getting out of prosecution. Don't let that be you. All right, I will see you later. I hope everyone is having a good day, bye.